Okay, good afternoon to my, to my fellow subscribers or if you are new, welcome to my channel. And today I'm addressing an uh, important issue that I've been encountering over the last year. So if you are watching this and you have an alignment problem with your Toyota Tundra re regarding uh, either it has a high mileage or regarding you have a high lift on there or you have a big wheel, this is my experience and I'm sharing it with y'all. I hope this video can be helpful to figure out the problem for you. Since last year, i have having a really hard time with uh, my truck's alignment and then it seems like every, every two or three months, my wheel will go out of the alignment. I changed uh, from suspension a little bit. I got that SPC upper control arm with uh, Rough Country Vertex 6, uh, six inches uh, coil overs because my passenger side was leaking hydraulic oil so I was like mm, let me just replace it after that I took it to a lineman shop right and um, it was uh, they, they told me they were able to make it into the factory spec that's what I was expecting after a week my truck went off the alignment like it started pulling like crazy and then uh, I took it back to the alignment shop, the tire was like hot, really hot. And then it, it kind of got some wear, uneven wear on my front tires. So everything was set to perfect and it did not help at all. I mean, their alignment job was perfect. Like the first day I got the truck and then it goes straight down the road and I can let the wheel go for a couple seconds without like pulling left and right. Like every time after I get alignment, it always goes straight, always perfect. But uh, when time goes on, because I, I do now tow trailers a little bit more, more often, and that might affecting it as well. But like the main problem is that like, I feel after a month or two, like every day when I drive the truck, every day the alignment seems to go off a little bit, day by day. And then last week I finally I'm like, no, this is this isn't how it works, and I took it back to the alignment shop, and I asked him, hey, like it's keep going off. The guy at the at the alignment shop, Josh, he he was uh, checking for my front suspension and checking all the bolts, and then when we were turning the steering wheel, you hear this sound, a popping sound. Okay, now I have the truck running, and then just listen. To the sound when I trying to turn the steering wheel. It's a little windy so I will place the camera a little more closer to the truck so we can capture that sound. Watch the steering wheel movement and then see if you can hear the sound. After my mechanic at the shop, alignment shop, been looking around, checking underneath the truck, and then while having someone in the driver's seat turn the steering wheel, and we find out that it's um, the rack and pinion that is making that sound. And then right now, I'll put the camera below the truck, and then I will show you what's going on. I wasn't able to access the angle from here. The lift is blocking the view, so uh, this is actually the part that's making the sound right here. Rack and pinion, the steering rack and pinion. Now watch this part, it's movement, when I start turning the wheel. does make a louder pop sound when it's in drive or reverse. So 
So after I know the problem that the rack and pinion is pushing, so I done my research through uh, different Toyota and then Tundra forms on the Google, and I have read uh, people have similar problems, and I also looked up on the YouTube videos. And I hope this video can be informative and then helpful for you to figure out your truck's alignment problem a little better just by watching this video. Tomorrow I'm going to take my truck to the four-wheel parts in San Antonio and after it's done I will let you guys know and I'll do the ending part of the video to let you guys know give you guys an update on how everything goes and hopefully that will help you out. So the truck is back after two days and uh, they did a rack and pinion replacement and that's uh, new parts that they put in there that's a new part the new rack and pinion right and here we have the uh, old parts this bushing right here as well as this one they're pretty old and then that's what making the whole thing shifting and moving and then had a little bit leaking on the side this is a part number here this i'm not sure if this rack and pinion is it oem or not but i don't see any uh i don't see any toyota marking on there it says uh somewhere somewhere texas so I'm assuming before, so I got my truck used, so I'm assuming this is uh, not the original rack and pinion on there. And I have no idea how many miles this thing has. But anyway, we just need to mail it back and then get some of the money back. The result of the new rack and pinion is uh, absolutely amazing. No more popping sound when I'm turning the wheels, future wise. I won't have to uh, go to alignment that often, which is great. And hopefully on my next set of tires, there will be a less uh, uneven wear due to the alignment that's been out of the place. So I do hope uh, this video is helpful to you and then you learn something uh, about these trucks according to my experience. And I do wish that you're aware of the popping sound if you have the same symptom like I do and then better go to a lineman shop or just go down with go down the truck and have your phone set up a camera recording there while you're turning the steering wheel to figure out what the problem is because um, out of the lineman while you're driving a lot and then it does uh, cost a lot of money because the tires are wearing now faster so you have to replace tires and then everything is so expensive right now so Yep, so thank you again for watching my videos and I appreciate that a lot. I see you next time.